beauty and colors are the most significant features of European peacock butterflies. However, it is just a drop in the ocean. Peacock lives start from females that are producing ovoid eggs in large clusters on host plants, which are typically hops. The larva will be starting to mature in July. These butterflies prefer regions of Europe and Asia, for example woods, fields, parks and gardens, but the rule is that climate has to be temperate. They simply don't like colder times, they survive in buildings or trees during winter. Because of the global warming effect, the distribution of European peacock is going to enlarge. The same situation is with migrations, they're gonna have much more wider perspective of migration. Also too similar to other butterflies, she's built with three main parts of the body, head, thorax and abdomen. Those three parts of the body are built with the same features just like the previously mentioned Vanessa Hardway has. So again, head is built with two antennae, with proboscis and also with palpi. There are also these characteristics units that build corneas, eyes and photoreceptors of European peacock and these units are called omatidias. The differences are visible on their wings. European peacock has so special wings that for me a lot of poetry can be written based on them. The wings on the dorsal side have characteristic eyes that are said to be the tool to deter predators. The ventral side is far more darker than the dorsal side of the wings. Not only dorsal side of peacock's wings is used to protect themselves, but also the dark ventral side is used to mask their existence. These processes highlight the genius adaptivity features of European peacock. And the finest consequences of evolution are her beautiful wings that we can all admire.